Silent computing is the future, but it's still a long way off from becoming mainstream. Today we have a silent fanless mini PC that doesn't break the bank and is still around the size of a regular Intel NUC. Yes, that's right, this mini PC has no annoying fan inside it, just an optimistic heatsink allowing you to hear the sweet sweet sounds of nature. Ah, bliss. The AC8 mini PC comes in two Jasper Lake flavors, an Intel Celeron N5105 and a Pentium N6005. We're looking at the Pentium unit in this video, which is a quad core CPU with UHD graphics. This unit is limited to M.2 SATA storage only, which is disappointing. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are included. I bought my AC8 barebones unit for 165 US dollars. With Aussie taxes, that comes to around the same price I paid for Intel's NUC 11 Essential with the same CPU. I'm 99.9% .9 sure that this AC8 mini PC comes from the same factory as the JK01 I reviewed previously. The I.O. is identical with dual USB 3 and 2 on the front, micro SD card reader, audio and mic jack. On the back is Gigabit LAN, dual USB 3, VGA, HDMI and DisplayPort. Even the packaging box looks the same. A power supply and HDMI cable are also provided, as is a VESA mount. So why am I mentioning the factory? Well, unlike the JK01, this one is much better designed when it comes to opening it. Two screws, open the panel, and done! Awesome! Of course, you can buy the unit fully pre-built from various sellers on AliExpress if you prefer. As usual for these Jasper Lake Minis, I'm using 2666MHz RAM and Windows 11. Okay, we have a completed box. One personal annoyance with the unit is that by default, it's set to power on as soon as you plug it in. Luckily, that can be changed in the BIOS, so it only turns on once you actually press the power button. Also, Windows won't find all the drivers for this unit, so thanks to one of my viewers, David, who emailed them to me and also suggested this mini for review. I've linked the drivers in my video description. Before getting to the benchmarks, video and emulator tests, I did want to say that I think the AC8 is a nice looking mini PC. But the case is uh, plastic, so well, that's not a great way to dissipate heat from a fanless unit. Anyway, let's see how it performs against some other budget minis I've reviewed including the NUC 11 Essential with an identical CPU. In single core Cinebench, the NUC came out almost 3% ahead of the AC8. The multi-core result showed an even bigger difference. Intel's NUC has an 18% score increase over the AC8, which even fell behind the JK01. So now you might have already guessed why I called it the optimistic heatsink. Yep, the CPU maxed out at, spoiler alert, 91C which means the CPU thermal throttles, drops in clock speed, and lowers overall performance. I mean, it's not terrible, but multi-core workloads will take longer to complete on this budget fanless mini compared to the Intel NUC Essential. Passmark also complained that the AC8 couldn't handle the heat. Anyway, let's see how graphics performance is affected. DX11 graphics score is over 6% higher for the NUC and DX12 only has the NUC coming out ahead by 2%, which is close enough. Silent Minis make great media players, and the AC8 is no exception. Putting it to the test, a 4K movie in VLC didn't drop a single frame. A 4K 60fps video on YouTube dropped 88 frames in 5 minutes. It's not perfect, but 88 frames out of 17,028 is only 0.5% frames dropped. Finally, the handbrake encoding test had the Intel NUC 18.5% ahead. That's a pretty big difference. With gaming, you're limited to old school games and indies. These budget Jasper Lake CPUs just aren't up for more demanding gaming, so I don't really cover it. But I will cover emulation. Since I've already tested a bunch of games with the NUC, I'll just go through one game on each system. Dreamcast, as expected, runs great. Most PSP games should run full speed with some upscaling. GameCube games can be upscaled. The 
what Wii games run best at native. Some PS2 games can also be upscaled. Okay, Power Draw is almost identical to the NUC 11 Essential, just one watt less at maximum was recorded. So I've already mentioned the CPU topped out at 91C at 21 ambient, and thermal throttled under load. It then drops down in temp and starts climbing back up again. The highest reach while gaming with emulators was 85C with Nintendo Wii emulation after half an hour. Long gaming sessions on hotter days will likely see a drop in performance in more demanding applications. So the AC8 is a decent fanless unit, let down by its thermal performance, and that it only supports M.2 SATA. Both of these flaws are not complete deal breakers, but something to keep in mind. As a budget fanless mini, it's decent but not a slam dunk. Personally, I think I'd go with a NUC 11 Essential for the same price. With a 3 year warranty, better software support, and a nicer case, it wins out for me. But if you are looking for a completely silent solution, the AC8 isn't a bad choice. That's all for this one. I appreciate a like if you liked the video, comment to let me know what you think, and subscribe for more mini PC mischief. See you soon. Cheers.